Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Magic's Vegas Pro 15 and ways you can really speed up your workflow so you can make content a lot faster and much more efficiently using templates. So like I said earlier, we're using the newest version of Vegas Pro 15 from Magix, and I am personally very delighted with how efficient this new version is. I haven't used it since 12, and this is a very, very nice upgrade. So we're just gonna jump into it. First thing we wanna do, do File, New, we we'll have a splash screen. So depending on what frame rate, you're gonna want it to set it to whatever you work at. I personally do things in 30 frames just because uh, I got really used to the fact that YouTube didn't used to handle drop frames very well. So I've just done it like this. I record at 1080 and I do a frame rate of 30. I like to start all my sessions with this settings. I also record my audio at 48 kilohertz as my sample rate. You can do this at whatever sample rate you want. 48 is just what I record everything at. And I always like to do 24 bits because that is twice as much as CD quality. And that basically gives you a much higher dynamic range. So you hit OK. After that, you grab whatever files you need. Now for my music marketing videos, I always use these three files. So the first thing we're going to do after dragging them in is we're going to insert three audio tracks, which is Control Q, and then four video tracks, which is Control Shift Q. The first one is going to be named Instabatch. The second one is going to be my music marketing logo. After that, we're going to use the bypass. And of course, after that, we are going to use the actual video. Now for the audio, we're going to have this one be named Submix because I usually record my Submix. VO. And this one is actually just going to be an extra one in case anything kind of unexpected happens. So after that, we literally just kind of scroll up and we put things where they need to be. Insta badge will go here, bypass will go right here, and the logo will be right here. Now, if you look at the logo, you see that it's pretty big and we want it to be at the very bottom right corner. Now you can do this with the pan crop tool, but I actually prefer to use the track motion tool. And that is because everything on this individual track will be placed and moved in that exact position that you set it to be. So we'll just shrink this down pretty small, and then we move it. And I think we can make it just a tiny bit bigger. About there looks perfect. And what I mean by this is if I move this here, we can see that every image or video file is now the same position and size. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I want this to last about six seconds. And the reason for that is because we have a logo that lasts for about five seconds. So I'm gonna go into 15 frames because it's 30 frames a second. And that will give it a half a second fade out. Go to the end, go to 15 frames, and we have a half a second fade in. So now if we go to the beginning and play it, fades in, lasts for about five seconds and fades out, perfect. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna actually copy this, and instead of having these fades, I have it completely flat, and make it completely zero at the opacity. That means that it's not gonna appear at all. And that's because we're gonna actually have this come in every 45 seconds, four or five seconds. So we're just gonna drag this out. About 45 seconds should be around here. We go to 45 exact. And now what we have is we have a template where whenever I'm done editing and I'm ready to actually put the logo up, just copy and paste these and they come in and out at the exact same time every 45 seconds for five seconds. So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually do the exact same thing with the Insta logo. So I'm going to make this last the same amount of time. Again, go to 15 frames, put these really nice fades in and out. And this is actually something that I'm really happy about uh, Vegas is its fades are very, very nice. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to actually do the track motion and modify the size of this. I want it to not cover the music marketing logo. It's not going to be around when this is going to be showing up, but it makes it look nice and letterboxed. And then we have the bypass. So if we mute this real quick, we can see that the bypass is not quite centered up. So we're going to actually have to move it down. And that looks perfect now. This can actually be dragged out as far as I need it to be because it's going to go throughout the entire session. Most of my videos last about five to 10 minutes. 
So we're going to actually just have it about here. We can extend it out whenever we need it to be. And next, I'm going to actually take the opacity all the way to zero because this only comes in when I'm actually bypassing or unbypassing something. So it'll basically be cut with the S button, bring its opacity up, and then make the fades in and out as needed. And now you can see it'll come in and come out whenever you want it to. Because of that, we can keep this as one whole track. And then this will be at the very end of the session. And the reason why we don't have to worry about where it is right now is because let's say I cut this, delete it, and then I highlight the blank space, I delete and hit F, and it moves it to where it needs to be. And that will make it so I don't have to constantly move and shift it left and right. Now we're gonna do a couple more things. We're gonna go to the master channel and I'm gonna actually put my favorite limiter on here and that is the new gen ISL2. I'm just gonna bump it up just by a little bit because I tend to record my audio tracks very, very low. We're gonna set the true peak detector to be two. And then we're gonna actually do the same thing with our VO track. I'm gonna put track effects, put some new ones, and I'm going to use my Pro Q2. And I'm going to actually put the new gen limiter on here too, just because I like to give myself a little bit of extra beefiness. Remove these three, hit OK. This can be set perfectly flat. This, I'm going to do a little bit of a boost and keep its output at about here. And there we go. That's all I need to do. Next, I just do File, Save As. We'll go here, Magic's Videos, and we'll make this Project Template. And we actually go to the beginning. Let's do MM for Music Marketing. Copy Media with Project, save it. And we make sure to copy everything out. And now if I actually come here and we go to Magic's Videos, we actually have the entire template right here. So all I need to do is maybe make a copy and name it whatever I want. So we could do Insta Edit. And I could just drag whatever video files I need into here, open it up and drag it in and we're good to go. And that is how we can easily have everything set up and already arranged for you. You don't have to worry about having to create this every single time you open up your program. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys like this. This has been Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV and I will see you guys next time. Bye.